Hi guys, welcome to my channel. On this video I'm going to show you how I transformed my mid-century dining chairs by simply painting the faux leather using unslown paint. My name is Alice and I post lifestyle, DIY, home decor videos. Stay tuned to see how I go along. These are the two types of chairs that I'm going to work on. I actually have two of the red ones and four of the green ones. I bought these chairs from Facebook Marketplace for £20, which I think is a good bargain for six chairs. So this is one of the chairs that I'm going to upcycle. I've got four of these chairs and two of the red ones. As soon as I saw the chairs on Facebook Marketplace, I knew exactly what I was going to do with them. I went ahead and removed all the screws from the backrest and remove the seat as I was going to sand down the whole chairs into bare wood. I use my mouse sander with 6 degree sanding sheet but if you don't have a um, sander you can just go ahead and use the hand sanding sheet to do the job. I diluted a bit of concentrated sugar soap in water to clean up the chairs. Once everything was clean and dry, I used this washable matte black uh, paint to paint the backrest as I wanted them to be black and to stand out. Once the backrest were dry, I attached them back to the chair using the screws. This is how the chair looked like with the backrest attached to them. But now I'm going to go ahead and paint the seats because I didn't like the green and red color. I use this Anslon Athenian black chalk paint which can be used in almost every surface. I went ahead and removed the seat from the chair ready for painting. With this paint there's no special treatment that you need to do to the ch chair or whatever surface you want to paint prior to painting. You just go, as long as the chair or whatever surface it is nice and clean and dry, just go ahead and start painting. The good thing about this paint is it can be used in most surfaces and what I like to do while painting is to start with a thin layer and let it dry before applying another layer. On these chairs I use two coats of paint which turned out okay. And this is how the chair, the painted chair looks like compared to the green one that was there before. I kind of like how it turned out. So this is the other set of chair that I'm going to work on. I like the style and the design of it which is unique and different and I've spotted this type of chairs I think online and they're going for like 300 pound per chair and mine were a little bit, I mean not a little bit, who was far less than that price. So I went ahead and removed the screws from the backrest and dismantled the whole chair to sand it down. On this one I started using um, sanding paper which was uh, 60 grits. By the way you can do this but it takes longer than the usual amount if you have the sander so I did this for a while it was a night and I didn't want to disturb the neighbors that's why I was using my handheld um, sanding sheet it took forever and the next morning I had to switch to my mouth sander which was faster and 
quicker. And this is how the frame of the chair looked like after I finished sanding it. I went ahead and sanded down the backrest too, ready for painting. Once everything had been sanded down, I used the concentrated sugar soap solution to clean the chair frame and the backrest. One of the backrests had a little bit of an issue as I, when I yanked it out, it kind of chipped. So I used this all purpose filler to fill the area that was a little bit damaged. And I waited for a few hours for it to dry before went in with a sanding paper and sand it down. Then I cleaned the backrest before going ahead with the matte black paint that I used before on the other chair to paint this backrest too. Once the backrest was dry, I went ahead and put it back into the chair frame. This is how the chairs look like with the backrest in place. Then I went ahead and painted the red chair using the Anne Sloan paint. As I mentioned earlier on, I used this Anne Sloan Athenian uh, black chalk paint to paint the chair seat. I painted the seat um, just doing different direction because this one has like a little bit like a snake print kind of um, material so I had to literally dig in there and get a good paint in those lines and I did two paint coats for this chair. So this is how the seat looked like after uh, it has dried. As you can see, it doesn't come off into your cloth or into the glove. So I went ahead and applied a second layer of paint. So here is the seat after I've applied two paint coats. And it looks amazing as you can see compared to the red one it definitely stands out and looks cool so I decided to use the finishing wax to seal the paint but this was a very bad idea because for some reason the wax that I used on didn't go well with the paint so it just turned out to be a little bit milky which I don't know what happened but if any of you guys knows what why that happened please do leave a comment so I'll be able to correct it for next time uh, this is what I'm talking about it turned out a little bit milky or white after it dried I don't know why this happened so I had to repaint the whole seat again so guys this is how the chairs turned out I'm really pleased with how they look I love the design the simplicity of it it just transforms my dining area uh, the paint was easy to use and it can be used in any surface that you've got so you can transform an old furniture of either it's leather or fabric you can use it on it apart from the waxing issue that I had I will give this paint probably 8 out of 10 so if you love this video give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so and I will see you in my next video as I'm planning something else to do 
with these chairs. I might transform them a little bit. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Bye.